Well, well, thank you. I'm very happy to be here. I'm Jordan Barber out of, out of North Dakota. Uh, checked the weather back home and it was minus 30 yesterday, so this is hot for me. Uh, trying to adjust to your warm temperatures and, and enjoy your warm weather while I'm here. Uh, I'm an agriculturalist by trade. I'm, I'm, what I do with Bear Crop Science and for our Invigor brands is I support our seed lines. So I work with the sales staff and develop the products that we have in the market today. And how many of you know that Bear Crop Science even sells canola seed? A few of you do. How many of you know that every other acre of spring canola in North America is in Vigor? We are by far the largest company in the spring canola market. We started out very small, something like what you guys have here in Washington State as a, you know, as a business. And we come out in the late 90s with a, in Vigor hybrids, and we were Liberty Link. And that's about the same time the Roundup Ready come out. And boy, did we get our stuff handed to us. So, but we persevered and kept going, and we knew we had a great thing. We had something different, something unique, and a great hybrid system, and we kept pushing that business forward. And through the mid-2000s, we kind of took over the market. At a time, we, couldn't, we could not produce enough seed to keep up with our demand. We went from a million acres to two million acres to about 11 million acres worth of seed sales. So we are a very large company. We're a global company. We have a lot going for us on this canola side. This is where our investment is. Our investments in canola, cotton, and rice. Uh, I think one of those crops are on the big four. So we're on the outside looking in, but we want, we want our focus is there. So uh, to get into what we have, uh, we're in the spring canola breeding. Our main breeding station is out of Saskatoon, Saskatchewan for the North American business. Uh, we do have stations in Europe, uh, China, Australia, and, uh, and in the Ukraine. Our current hybrids are Liberty Link. <coughs> Liberty is a non-selective herbicide, similar to Roundup, but it's a contact herbicide. So if you want to use Liberty, read, read through the label, look at what the applications are that you need to, need to make with the Liberty herbicide, because it is different mode of action than Roundup and it does work differently than Roundup. So, <clears throat> and our current hybrids are resistant to the herbicide, so you could spray as much as you'd like on the, on the crop and you will not injure the crop. Uh, we, in our breeding program, we do traditional breeding as well as molecular breeding, and we use our double haploid lab to cre create our inbred lines. Uh, we also, we're a chemical company, so we offer a full product line for canola. The seed, the seed treatment, the herbicide, and a fungicide for foliar diseases. Uh, just to get why we got to where we are, is all the, all the varieties that we have go through the Canadian co-op system, so they have to be registered in Canada before they can be planted by an actual grower. And we've started submitting lines back in 1996, and here you have the top five from that, those trial systems, and a two-year trial, trial data. And as you can see, since about 2004, we've dominated, the, the, dominated the, the performance on the canola lines entered in those trials. <clears throat> so there's a few years there where we didn't enter that many lines, so that's where you get the other dots where other companies come in. And this is the reason why we sell half the spring canola in the, in the North American market. Uh, as for product lineup we have, we have an Invigor L130 and an Invigor L120. Uh, and when you look at the lines, the, the L is for Liberty Link. The second digit in the number is maturity. The lower the number, the earlier maturity. So if you look at if it was an L180, it would be a long season canola. An L110 would be a short season canola. Uh, we also have an Invigor 5440. This is a little bit older line that we've had out for a while. Uh, it's very good. All of our lines are R rated for Black Lake. Black Lake is a big disease in our area. Uh, for canola production, uh, but we do a lot of two-year rotation in the heart of the canola area, which you guys are looking, what I've heard is doing more of a four-year rotation, so I don't think black legs are ever going to be a major problem as long as you stick with that four-year rotation. So, and L150, which is now exiting the market. Uh, our future, what we're working on for next year and down the road is we have two new hybrids coming into 2014. Uh, we have Invigor Health. It's actually being launched into the U.S. market in 2013. Uh, that's Ohio Lake, and we have a partnership with Cargill. Uh, they're, they're the buyers of the, 
of the oil at the end and they have the customers at the end. You know, when you look at it, you heard about Ohio Lake oils in a few, a few presentations earlier, and the, the Ohio Lake market is, uh, you know, most of the oil profiles are patented, so you gotta work with a few companies, and one of the companies is Cargill, and the other one is Dow right now. Uh, we have sclerotinia tolerance coming out in 2014. We've had club root resistance for a few years back, a few years now. There's an area in Edmonton, around the Edmonton area where there's a lot of club root, which is a very devastating disease if you get it in your canola. Uh, we have pod shatter coming in, out in 2014. We've been working with the pod shatter trait for many years now. In the beginning, we couldn't thrash the canola, and then it was, took us uh, several years to get it to the point where we can, it'll hold the pods tight and still be able to thrash. Uh, we also have, we're a partner with Monsanto. We actually sell Roundup Ready hybrids into that uh, Australian market. And we're, we're looking at having a Roundup Ready Liberty Link stack come into our market here. Uh, but we keep getting regulatory delays in Asia and Europe because we have to go through a regulatory dossier to get approvals for, for those countries. I uh, also have a Gen Nebraska Gensia breeder. Uh, Derek Potts was hired a few years back and has been working on Nebraska Gensia lines. We see a lot of value in this in, in markets where they're a little bit on the drier side where we can get, uh, you know, it's too dry for the Napus lines. We can probably work the Gensia lines into those areas. And we also have winter canola. Uh, our Europeans have uh, winter winter canolas, and we have a few entered in the U University of Idaho trials. Uh, they're Clearfield lines, they're hybrids. So far, I don't know a lot about them. We'll we'll see how they perform in the in the university trials here, and they're also in the North American winter canola trial. So, we're looking at that winter oil, oil seed market, looking at bringing lines into that market eventually. Uh, just kind of waiting to see how that market develops. Uh, you know, this is a, a picture of the, the sclerotinia tolerance, and I, I can't, on the one side you have the, the tolerant plant, and on the other side you have inoculated susceptible plant. This is very good, good tolerance, and we're thinking in some areas where there isn't a lot of sclerotinia, you may not have to spray a fungicide, but under heavy pressure, you, uh, growers may end up spraying a fungicide, and it's, uh, just fantastic looking according to our plant pathologists and the early trials that we've had it in. Uh, also this is showing you the pod shatter and how the, pod, the pods have been modified to keep them from splitting open. Uh, and then the club root resistance, you can see the photo up there, it's a really nasty disease, this is kind of uh, not really infected, that some of them just become a big club on the end. So it's just where they have club root in the soil, it hangs around for 20 to 25 years. They have to rotate out canola and not go back for, for several years. Uh, and then for our, for our canola business, we've, off, we've introduced Prosper Evergoal. It's a new seed treatment. We've had Prosper FX for many years. We've changed out one of the fungicides. And what we're seeing is some much higher efficacy on, on Rhizoctonia. And the Rhizoctonia is a disease we have across North Dakota in our growing areas. And it's the one that causes the most problems. There's also there's a couple other diseases as well, but, <clears throat> but we're looking at this as a new product and we think it's gonna really take our seed treatments to the next level. Uh, so for, with that, that's about all I have. It's, uh, I'd like to thank you again for having me here. This, this is Bear's 150th year and we're out to celebrate this year. We've been around a very long time. Uh, my kids often ask me, well, what was it like the first year? And I always tell them, oh, it was the Civil War was going on and things weren't very good. It was pretty bleak, you know. Uh, the whole Western Plains wasn't populated, so, but, uh, so, but thank you.